Barbie is the biggest movie in the world at the moment and that really pisses some people off. Their main hot take is that this is a Trojan horse for the radical left. But my friends, don't fall for that trap. Well, it might be true. It plays right into the hands of the film's champions. You see, you can't change anyone's mind about this or any other movie, no matter how hard you blow up. In fact, the louder you scream, the more tickets they will buy. For the record, it's not a new trick. For decades, rock bands used to call up the police to attend their shows in the hope that they would be arrested for being offensive. This infamy would then make sure that the band could tell their fans the only way to get back at the man was to buy a ticket to see them do it again in another city. They get rich, you have a good time, feeling like you've changed the world. But of course, you didn't. We can all have opinions on pop culture, be the music we like, the books we read, or the movies that we devour. But you can't deny cultural impact. And Barbie has had a global cultural impact, first as a toy and now as a movie. In fact, I think you lose your ability to win people over on things that have nothing to do with pop culture if you insult the things that they love to watch. Now, you know I'm not a lefty, but relax. The kids are all right. In fact, they'll eat this stuff up and they'll love it, especially because it pisses the right type of people off. Now, Barbie's politics are not for the right or even the centre. It's been made by the sisterhood, for the sisterhood, and why can't they have their blockbuster moment? The only reason we're talking about all of this is because, of course, it made hundreds of millions of dollars in its first few days. And believe me, it's not making money because the message or its politics passed lefty purity tests. Barbie is this year's Top Gun Maverick. And remember, that was nominated for Best Picture at the Oscars. Barbie will probably be nominated for Best Picture at next year's Oscars, and it's okay. You see, things we love in the past, we love when they get revived into our current day. It makes us feel like we're all in a time machine. And hundreds of millions of people have a fond memory for Barbie way back from the 1960s to today. Millions of other kids thought they were super cool because they rejected Barbie, and that's why they want to see this movie. Because the true genius of the Barbie marketing is that they literally appealed to both people who loved and hate this toy. Throw in well-known independent filmmakers, and the media start to say, well, this is probably not going to be an ad. This might be a serious movie. This might have way more to say. Thus, it moves right into the heart of the mainstream. And for what it's worth, I get it. I like the movie. I didn't love all of it. But again, it's not made for me. It's not very subtle, but neither is a giant pink Barbie house. So settle down, the culture warriors that say, this is the line we cannot cross. And if you do, somehow the world is going to end. Now, they could have landed a better final act in this movie, but they picked a side and they went for it and they went as hard as they could. But in the end, Barbie isn't made for people like me. And that's cool. We have to have a culture that super services all different types of people, including people who may surprise you with their opinions about culture versus politics. And not everything is culture and not everything is politics. My main affection for this particular moment in time and the reason why I will not join the barricade of people that are screaming at this film is because millions of people went back to the movies on one weekend. And we need more shared experiences, be it last year with Top Gun or be it this year with Oppenheimer or Barbie. I'm tired of us all living in a world where the algorithm decides what we care about. And essentially a giant bubble is built around all of us where we don't notice that other people are involved in this world. And it's nice to have a moment to be able to be together. So let's do more of it. Let's seek out other people. Go to a game, sit in the stands, go to the movies on the busiest possible time. And who cares if people are texting? And by the way, while you're at it, even if you're watching this video, look up from your phone. The real world is more layered, complicated and contradictory than locking yourselves forever in Barbie land or working for 24 hours a day on a bomb that could change the world. Actually, building a bomb's a great idea for a movie.